Hi there, welcome to this series of videos on programming logic. We would start with simple programs like even numbers, odd numbers, how to find if a number is prime, find factorial of a number and then move on to complex data structures and also algorithms. In this video, let's write a program to find out if a number is odd or even. Let's start with writing a simple program which just prints something to the output. Then we can move on to writing a function which does whether a number is even or odd. One thing to watch out for is if you are already experienced in programming, you might find the first couple of videos a little slow. So uh, if you are already experienced in programming, probably you can give a couple of programs a skip and start with something which you already don't know. But in this first few videos, I would want to go a little slow so that even somebody who's a starter in programming would be able to follow them. So now let's get started. Uh, let's write a program to find out if a number is even. So what I've done is created a simple variable int number and I've assigned a value 10. Yeah, it's I've hard coded the value in there, but let's just write a program to print whatever value is in number. Is it even or not? The logic to determine whether a number is even to or even or not is very simple. If a number is, if a number leaves a remainder one when divided by two, it's odd. So if eleven when it's divided by two leaves a remainder one. So and ten when remainder when uh, divided by two leaves a remainder zero. So any number which leaves a remainder one is odd. Any number which leaves a remainder zero is even. So now the operator which helps us do that operation is modulus. This modulus operator is present in almost all the programming languages. Uh, the modulus operator gives us the reminder when a number is divided by another number. So if I do a 10 mod 2, it gives me the reminder when 10 is divided by 2. We can use that operator to find out if a number is even or not. The other important operator which would be introduced in this is the comparison operator. So uh, the way it works is if I say number mod 2 is equal to is equal to 0. What happens internally? So uh, we, are you, uh, we looked at the assignment operator in the previous videos which is single is equal to which is number is equal to 0 actually stores a value of 0 into number so what happens when I say a single is equal to is the value 0 gets stored into the box number that we saw in the previous video however the comparison operator which is double is equal to this is called the comparison operator the comparison operator is a little different the comparison operator actually compares if the left hand side and the right hand side the left hand side is number mod 2 so the value which comes when number mod 2 is evaluated and the right hand side which is 0 here if these two are equal then this expression returns a non-zero value which is indicating that it's true so basically when you want to compare two things. If I want to find out if number mod 2 is 0 or not, I want to check whether when I do a modulus of 2 over a number, whether it returns back a value 0 or not. In this situation, I'll use the comparison operator. So what I want to do is if number mod 2 is equal to is equal to 0, then what we want to do, printf printf number is even. So let's use the else as well and say printf number is odd. So one important thing to remember is the use of the comparison operator. The comparison operator is double is equal to and this is a common mistake which beginners to programming make the difference between is equal to and double is equal to. Double is equal to is a comparison operator. It checks whether the left hand side value 
is equal to the right hand side values whether it number of when I do number mod 2 does I get 0 or not do I get 0 or not if I get 0 then print that number is even else number is odd so let's uh, just run this program and see what happens let's debug the program and check what the output is so I'm doing a F7 which is uh, debug in Turbo C++ you if you're using a different IDE probably you can use the debug mode there as well um, when I press F7 it starts stepping through the program line by line now a number is assigned a value 10 what happens now is the clear screen so you can see the output clearing out um, what happens now is if number mod 2 is equal to is equal to 0 the number has a value 10 so 10 mod 2 is 0 so this condition would return a non-zero value indicating true so now if you look at it it runs it executes printf and there you go in the output its printed number is even so let's complete the execution now what I'll do here is also change the value to something else let's say I want to change the value which is present here from 10 to a odd number let's say I give a value 15 so if I do this number has a value 15 and if you look at it does a clear screen now the output is cleared off and number mod 2 is now having a value 1 so number mod 2 is equal to is equal to 0 uh, number mod 2 is 1 and 1 is not equal to 0 so this returns a value 0 which indicates false so the code goes to else and it prints number is odd so this is how you write a simple program to determine if a number is odd or even now what we'll do is actually create a function so what I'll do is actually create a function which returns even or not so I'll call it is even the function is is even and it returns a type int back if you're programming in Java or uh, C sharp you have a type called boolean boolean indicates whether it's true or false but in C you don't have a value boolean we only have a value int when a value is non-zero that's 2 or 5 or 6 it's true when a value is 0 then it's false but if you're doing Java or C sharp you can use the return value as a boolean here we don't have a boolean in C language so I use int is even and I'll pass the number which I want to check is even or not as the parameter so the number I would want to pass is an integer so I'll say number and I can say if number mod 2 is equal to is equal to 0 then we would want to return a value 1 1 indicates true else return 0 so now let's uh, run this program from execute this function from main with different values and see what happens so I'm going to clear all this stuff out and let's write printf let's do a clear screen first then do a printf and uh, 11 and say percentage d I would invoke the function here from here the function is is even and I want to pass a value 11 so let's see what happens and then printf I'll pass in a value 20 and percentage D comma is even of 20 so if you look at the return values the return values would be 1 or 0 1 indicates that it's even and 0 in, sorry 1 indicates that it's odd and 0 indicates that it's even let's run this program and check what happens the first thing which happens is the clear screen obviously and then if you look at this the is even function is called with a value 11 so 
is even 11. 11 mod 2 is not equal to 0. So it goes to else and returns a value 0. That indicates that the value which 11 is not a even number. So if you see the, in the output you can see 11 and the value written back is 0 which indicates that it's not even. And if you look at the next function call, it's called with 20. 20 mod 2 is 0 so it returns a value 1 back and now this function returns a value 1 back and I'm printing that to the output so 20 is even. So that's basically uh, is how you write the even odd program uh, like similar to is even you can also write a program for doing is odd which is exactly the reverse of the, the, the is even function. Um, if you want to actually I can add in a logic saying if is even print even and print odd but uh, I think 0 and 1 are simple enough to deduce. So there we go that's our first program uh, is even and is odd. If you like this video show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video. We are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak. Subscribe to stay updated. Thanks for watching until next time bye.